report for uh, September uh, the 8th here, it says. Uh, the data is collected uh, until uh, Tuesday. Uh, basically, what, how I look at the commitment of traders is I usually go along with the hedge funds early on, and then I end up with the commercials, uh, those in the know, uh, if, if time moves on. Okay, So um, what we do is we're getting a, a bunch of dollar shorts in here. Okay, How I'm looking at this is that uh, if you begin to go through some of these, like the CAD here, this is reversed. Um, the red line is the CAD and the position. They're uh, uh, short the CAD, right? Right? Is that how this is? Because they reverse it. So they pile in. You know, they'd be long. They would be long um, uh, the CAD on here. Net positions, this is net long. But see, here's the price. Right? I think that's right. I think I sent a chart along with. But I, the ones I'm looking at here, though, are versus, say, the euro versus, okay, so you can see all the, the, the bodies moving into here on the euro. Less positioning going in, it's getting to be flat. So you're just having basically shorts just uh, moving this higher. So I would like, uh, you know, long, more long the pound, okay, that's still negative, right? Uh, the, the holders are still short, but be long uh, the pound and short. Uh, the euro, but uh, mo Sunday, Monday, Tuesday here, the, the pound may come off. But with the, the euro, you know, because there's less new blood coming in to pump this thing. The dollar, as we saw, you know, was it's kind of had a spike and then a pullback, and then we're basically not adding to any more positions on there. Um, so I like the dollar on here. All the FEMA money and stuff, It's that's going to be inflationary. That's how it's going to... So the Fed is going to, and what happens is, is the insurance companies have to sell debt. So the insurance companies are going to sell debt, and the, the Federal Reserve, they're pulling money out of the system. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to have some confliction going on here. Uh, Swiss franc, I'll pass on, and same with the Japanese yen for right now. Actually, I would probably lean that the Japanese yen, right, reversed. Oh, it's one of those days, right? One five, one ten. Okay, so that's flipped upside down. Okay, so I'd probably lean that the the Japanese yen uh, would actually come down. Their economy is separate uh, from all of this, from the old carry trade. Aussie dollar uh, looks a little extended here on the short side. And you saw how quickly the New Zealand dollar came back. New Zealand usually falls into November, uh, like here, November. <clears throat> You know, it went from a high up to here. It went from, what is that, 74 to 69. So that's five. So that's uh, $5,000 in March. So it's at 200%, you know. Uh, but I'd probably short the Aussie dollar here if commodities are going to come off. Mexicans a little bit. Um, the, the body is definitely in the Mexican here. I'd actually look to buy on any weakness. And oil looks to be uh, basically sideways for right now. And here we have gold. Uh, I would rather play the short side of gold at if we, you know, how it works is we have inflation, so then that's obvious. But how is gold going to behave in the next recession? That's how I, I mean, if, if gold's going to go up, you know, one or $200 more, but then drop uh, $800, you know, go to go to eight fifty. You know, go from what fifteen hundred to eight hundred. What is that? Seven hundred bucks. You know, you're you're risking. You know, one your one or two hundred dollars on the upside to seven uh, seven eight nine on the downside. A uh, natty gas is sideways, but I have to believe that natty gas is going to be pulled up here along, just kind of like with the heating oil and stuff. Substitute. You know, I'll go look at coal prices, but natty gas is. Uh, you know, it's. It's pretty much okay. I mean, it comes out of the ground. It's ready to go. Crude oil is a different story. You actually have to process it. A uh, lot of too many bodies here in the S&P futures here. Under 2,400 on that quarterly um, chart that I sent you guys and gals. Uh, that uh, should do the trick on the, I'm, you know, like, and for me, I'm focusing on um, the coming recession versus, you know, how we do the blow off top here with the spending of the FEMA money and stuff. And 10 years look, Look, they're pretty well long on here, but price isn't going anywhere. This is yield, okay. So yield is dropping. They're on the long side. So, But that's about it. More videos later. Have yourself.